Hey, peeps, it's Andy Kuhn with FCproducer.com. Thanks for checking out this quick tip in Final Cut Pro, and it's the Select Track Tool. Now, if you are an editor and you use Final Cut Pro and do uh, you know, multi-layered editing, you always come across some crap and you're just like, damn, I gotta move all this stuff. And it can be very complicated, but at the same time, it can be very easy if you know what you're doing. All right, so check this out. So I need to move a clip, that's right, right and around in here. I need to move it so just a few inches over, that means I gotta move all the media, right? Or move it out, move forward, yes, you'll see. So I'm gonna zoom in, and I'm gonna move, see this little right there? That's all I need to move. Um, so I'm just gonna go select that, delete it. Now I just have a blank thing right there, so I just need to move it over just a schmidgen. It is a word, a schmidgen is a word. Okay, um, so I'm gonna select the track forward tool. I'm gonna hit T four times. One, two, three, four. It's a select track, select all track forward. That's what the tool is now. So I click to where I want to select from the right of where I want to select and it'll select everything. Booyah! So it selects everything. Now here's a problem. I have the audio selected as well and I don't want to move all the audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit T one more time and it goes back to the first one, which is select one track forward. So now I hit the Apple key and I'm gonna select this, which is all the audio, and that automatically, well, you see what happens. It deselects that. So now I'm gonna hit A again for my arrow tool and I'm just gonna grab and drag it over and I have snap on, so it snaps right to the timeline. And that's all I need to do. Now everything is where I need to be and voila. So this, <laughs> it's such a cool tool and I haven't used, and you know, I just don't use it that often. So there you go, people. I hope this helps you out a real quick tip and uh, check out corporateassassin.com. That's what I'm working on these days.